the Nigerian Union of Pensioners has strongly criticized the federal government's handling of fuel prices, citing the severe hardship it has caused for pensioners and vulnerable citizens. The union also expressed disappointment with the government's neglect of pensioners and urged President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to prioritize their welfare and address the ongoing economic crisis. This was made known during a press briefing held in Abuja, where the chairman of the union called for an adjustment of pensions to reflect the new minimum wage. Nigerian pensioners who are growing and wallowing in abject poverty, wasn't by the avoidable incessant fuel increase that have rendered their paltry monthly pensions useless. On the prevailing economic hardships unleashed on innocent Nigerians arising from the unplanned removal of fuel subsidy, it is obvious that the Nigerian pensioners and other vulnerable groups in Nigeria are worse hit by the subsidy removal, which resulted to hyperinflation characterized by astronomical rise in the prices of goods and services, which has negatively affected every strata of our life. The federal government defiantly went ahead to increase fuel price of PMS to further impoverish, pauperize, and choke the Nigerian masses in a manner capable of sending them to their early graves. In another development, and in line with the current economic situations, we find ourselves with wish to humbly suggest that the federal and state governments should consider using the new minimum wage of 70,000 as a basic or template to recompute pension emolument. That is to say, if the minimum wage for the work workers is increased by 110%, the same rate of increment should be used to adjust pensions. The idea for the minimum wage is to enable workers meet up with the ever-increasing cost of living and cushion the effects of hyperinflation. Then the pensioners should get it too, as they are also affected by the vagaries of economic hardship. As far as the NUP is concerned, this is the height of government insensitivity and the lawlessness, which might result to unimaginable grave consequences, as Nigerians cannot afford to be beggars in their own oil-rich oil country.